In this video, we're going to be going over the Hestia WordPress theme. You're going to be getting a first look at it as well as me. I'm just going to be installing this for the first time uh, and you'll be getting my first initial reactions for everything. Um, you can go ahead and download their theme by visiting the link in the description below. But as you can see on their website, they have a couple of examples you can look at. They say that they are compatible with major pro uh, page builders and then they have some testimonials. Let's take a look at one of their demos. This is a material design website theme, so they're going to have a lot of flat and um, animated items. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So we've got a couple of uh, flat items, the very minimalistic look with the the negative margin right there. So they're, they are saying they're compatible with page builder, so we're going to be testing this out with the with the Elementor page builder. Um, looks like it is WooCommerce compatible as well. They have a few different samples here. They look great. Um, let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and dive right into this. We're gonna go ahead underneath of appearance and then themes. Let's go ahead and add a new one. Let's upload this theme right here. All right, so now we have this activated. Let's see what we've come up with. Uh, we've detected you perfectly installed, zero installed. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. They have a getting started. So this will actually take you to a different part of your back end. So let's go ahead and click this and see what they've come up with. All right, perfect. This is where you can go ahead and install your required plugins right here. So you have the getting started some recommended uh, uh, actions. So they recommend Orbit Fox Companion and the WP Forms. So they also suggest some useful plugins. And look at that, Elementor is right there, right in their top. So we're gonna go ahead and definitely test this out. They have some support documentation here. Um, their changelog for what's new. So it just recently had an update today, actually, as you're watching this. Um, and then some free versus pro options. So there is a pro version of, of this theme and you'll be able to see what their major differences are. Uh, section reordering, short codes, sliders. A lot of the stuff is included in Elementor so you may not need the, the premium theme to do what you need to do. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just see what we've got here. And if you ever need to go ahead back to this page, go underneath of appearance and go to about. So they've got that there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna to navigate to the customize just to see what options our customizer has. And we'll be able to take a look at the, the default of whatever you get inside of uh, when you first install this theme, which actually looks really good. So they give you like a basic homepage setup for like a one page site. Uh, looks a lot like their sample that they had uh, that we showed you earlier, the navigation up here the sticky nav that makes a different background color, shrinks a little bit. Um, some options for the hero, a little bit of about you. They have a lot of different options here. So it's pretty cool to be able to do this. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So we have like again, the recommended plugins. Let's go ahead and skip that. And then we can see the view pro features. You can go ahead and get the pro version there. We have the normal site identity, so we can choose our logo, site title, tagline, and as well as the site icon, this is all WordPress standard. Then we have some appearance options. Underneath of that, we have some, some page sidebar layouts and your blog sidebar layouts. So you can go ahead and choose your default one there. And if you want your sharing icons inside of the sidebar, you can go ahead and do that. And then of course we have our enable scroll to top. So if we enable that over here at the bottom right, you'll see that we've got that. Uh, box layout. So if we have a box layout, let's go ahead and hide that. We have a full width layout there. So if we go ahead, box layout just means that they have that little section on the left and right that you see over here and over here. And if we disable that, it is completely full width. So I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this uh, default. Then we have the disable front page section. So if we do that, it turns off all of those sections that we had initially on the the home page. So I'm probably gonna keep that like it is. Some topography settings, so we can change the font family for the headings and the body, as well as some font subsets. And then you can always choose more inside of the pro version. 
and then our font sizes for our posts and pages and then the front page sections if you have those enabled you can go ahead and choose the content and then you have the headings and then you have the title so you have those options there background image of course is going to be the background of the of the um, website so you can go ahead and upload an image there and then we have the header background over here underneath of the heading options so you can see which ones you would like to have based on the design of the of the website and then you can of course choose different ones for the uh, for the images you can go ahead and upload your new one for here now let's go to uh, back under appearance we have the background image and then we have buttons so we can choose the border radius and the padding things of that nature let's go ahead and scroll down header options let's go back there the very top bar so we can go ahead and disable or enable that we have a nice top bar section here we can go to the navigation and enable the search in the menu which gives us this great magnifying glass and of course we have a few different layouts that we have here if we choose this option over here it will actually activate a sidebar that you can put some content over here so that you can add some phone numbers or some text or anything like that then we have our heading to header settings that we saw earlier underneath the colors we have background and accent color so basically whatever the main color of your site is going to be or of your branding you're going to put that under the accent color and for the background color you'll go ahead and choose that and you get those options down there now keep in mind this is all if you're not going to be using a page builder uh, we'll go ahead and dive into the elementor page builder in just a bit blog settings so we have all of this we have the categories so for featured post and then we have blog settings so different looks for different for the blogs which is always great you can actually display different category the blog categories first or not at all um, the concept the content excerpt you could do the excerpt or the content itself and then you can go ahead and change how long you want that to be i don't usually use an excerpt when i do blog posts i usually just fill in the content uh, for the post pagination you can do the number or you could just choose an infinite scroll which is very popular something that a lot of developers look for in blog posts for the menus we have the same options for our primary menu this is standard in wordpress so this should be uh, across all themes you can go ahead and change your primary menus and, and those options there we have widgets which is still standard in wordpress i won't go over too much of that uh, the home page settings we can choose the static page or our latest post whichever you want to do and this is standard as well and then we have the hestia documentation so if you click on this it'll actually take you to their helpful documentation where you can if you need to help getting started or if you're stuck somewhere you're more than welcome to go ahead and look at that and then of course our additional css which is wordpress standard so this is all great let's go ahead and uh, let's publish this and we're just going to go ahead and exit out of this now normally this uh, themes have a theme options setting but this one does not you have the customizer you have the headers and you have the background so if you like I said if you click on the header or the background it'll take you to that respective part of the customizer here so no need to actually dig through all of these um, and go through the customized page setting so let's go ahead and check this out. So we have pages. So it already installed a couple of different pages for us. Let's go ahead and add Elementor Page Builder so that we can go ahead and see how this reacts with a page builder. All right, and let's go ahead and activate this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this again. Let's go to our pages go to our home page and we're going to get rid of this content and update it just in case um, get rid of this featured image and let's go ahead and edit this there's a lot of default things set that are set in place uh, I'm not a fan of already preset default things I like blank canvases which is why I usually use um, more minimal themes but we're going to check and see how much how how minimal this is 
Uh, supports default styling for Elementor widgets. Do you want to disable Elementor's default styles and use the theme defaults? Okay, so there is a setting inside of Elementor that you can do this, but this one prompts you by default when you go to edit it. I like to use Elementor's styling, so I'm going to go ahead and have it do that. I'm going to just, I'm going to, just, I want to keep Elementor. Okay, so we have this set up here and earlier we, we saw that image that was up here that's where that went but we went ahead and removed that so let's go down to the settings gear and to the page layout let's see what we've got so we've got a few different options we've got elementor canvas and elementor full width which comes with elementor we have full width template and then page with sidebar page builder blank and page builder full width let's do the full width template see what this one looks like all right and we have page width sidebar which that'll be a sidebar over here. And then page builder blank. And page builder full width. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and update the page builder full width. And we'll refresh this. Just so we can get it. Alright, there we go. This is our option that we most likely want. Uh, let's try page builder blank just to see what that looks like. See if that's any different than page builder full width. Okay, so it is. This is like a Elementor canvas option, but with the theme. I would suggest if you're going to use Elementor and you want like a canvas to just use just use the um, the Elementor canvas one and not the page builder blank. Because if you ever change themes or anything like that, then you got to deal with template change. So let's go ahead and choose, let's see what Elementor full width looks like. All right, let's 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 keep this. Normally, we'll just keep it like that. So let's go to update, and then we have our page builder. So let's go ahead and import some content here, just so we can get started. And we're gonna see how well this works with Elementor Pro as well. All right, so importing this worked just fine. We have this and it looks great. We have those options we can style, we can do background types, so we can actually change that in the default theme. And I'll show you guys how to do, how we can do that cuz I normally keep it white, but we have these options down here. It looks to be working just fine with the Elementor page builder, which it does say it's compatible, so that's great. So let's go ahead and update this home page. We're going to exit out of this and we're going to go to the background for under the appearance and from there we're going to let's see we're going to go ahead and make it so that is a white background underneath of the appearance all right so we've got background image button colors background color let's make this white all right let's exit out of this now we're going to go ahead and see how well this works with Elementor Pro. I've gone ahead and I've installed Elementor Pro, so let's see how it works with the with the headers. So let's go ahead and see what our website looks like first. Okay, so we've got this as our website right here. As you can see, even though we chose the full width, it still has the, uh, the minimal here. So it's a little bit raised up, and then we have that title up there. Let's go ahead and create our own header. So we want to create a new template. Let's do a header section, name it testing. Let's go ahead and navigate over and we're going to use one of the pre-built ones that Elementor has so graciously given us. Okay, let's go ahead and use this one right here. We've got this here, we've got the site image, we've got our menu, so let's go ahead and publish this. Add condition for the entire site and hit publish. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so we want to go ahead and get rid of this top section right here, as that's something that we do not want to do. So let's go ahead and navigate back to the customizer. And we want to go ahead to the header options and then we have the navigation we have the header header right here so if we want there to be no header we can do that we have different options for this we can do this all right so it looks like we have that 
that positioned absolute header right there. So we want to make sure that we have that somewhat turned off, basically. We have this here and this here, which is always great. We don't want those to be there. Uh, the background image for the header background, we don't want that there as well. So this is this seems like it's this seems like it is compatible with Elementor uh, using the Hestia header. And I can check into using the uh, the different header at the top so that we don't have this this page header top button. Let's go ahead and navigate back to our home page and let's edit this with Elementor. Go back down here to this and we're going to set this. That might be why because I never set it as full width. So let's update this. And refresh. Okay. We'll go ahead back over to here and do the page builder full width. Okay. And we'll refresh that to see what this does. It seems like we have some issues when it comes over to actually doing a custom header with uh, Elementor and Hestia. It doesn't seem to replace it because it is doing the position absolute. So that's always it's always difficult to do something like that. There is that position absolute. So it seems like inside of their heading template somewhere they have that set. So you have to do something with those lines. It might be where you aren't able to do the display conditions for the header because it's not compatible with it, meaning that they haven't hooked it into it yet. So that might be also something that you have to check into. Uh, when actually building your site with the page builder and a theme to make sure that the theme is fully compatible with Elementor Pro's themer. Uh, and they have documentation that they can go ahead and read up on and do that. But for the most part, this is a very minimal theme. Uh, their demo, as I show here, this is the demo right here. They have that hero image that I showed earlier. And then down here, this is where all of your content would go from Elementor. So they have that section down there. Overall, this is a, a great theme. Uh, I'll wait for them to include some more integration with the Elementor themer so that we can use that because a, a lot of a lot of people use the default theme header and footer for all of their sites, which is great on some sites. But when you want to have those options, you want to go ahead and and integrate with Elementor Pro. Now I understand why use a, a theme that has these kinds of options if you're just going to use Elementor's header and footer. Well, there's a lot of things that themes have, such as this theme with the blog post being able to be left or right alternating or all left aligned, which is great because it's built into the theme. But you just want to have a more control over the header and footer along with the content. So there's different reasons for, for doing this. But as I mentioned, it's a great theme. Um, they have great integrations with WooCommerce, which we didn't dive into, but you're more than welcome to visit their their demo. And I'll go ahead and link that in the description below that shows a little bit more about how they can go ahead and integrate this. And as I said before, if this is all um, not the Elementor themer. This is actually Hestia's WordPress theme itself. So they've gone ahead and this is what a default looks like for all of your WordPress project products. And in my opinion, it looks great because I'm always a fan of flat, minimal things. So this theme is something that I probably will begin to use on some of the sites that I don't need customizations because this is already done. Looks good. It's got a sticky header, which is something that a lot of people ask for. They have the, the, um, the sticky nav with the shrinking and changing backgrounds. Uh, it looks like they have a mega menu integration, which is huge. So being able to do that is something that a lot of people have been asking for as well. So mega menu integration. And then the WooCommerce looks great. Their blogs are looking good. So we can actually go visit the blogs and see what they look like. 
So there's a lot of different appearance options for the blogs that you can go ahead and do. So overall, this is a great theme. If you're looking to customize it more with the header and footer from uh, Elementor Pro, uh, it may not work just yet, but I'm sure that uh, with some feedback from everyone, if you guys are in interested in doing that, then I'm sure that they'll go ahead and, and tackle on that addition for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said before, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. All of the documentation links that I've been uh, talking about today are also in the description. So you can go ahead and click on those if you have any questions. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.